Hi, my name is Catherine. And I'm Craig. And today we're going to learn about the basics of fishing equipment. I'm going fishing soon, but I don't have all of my equipment ready. Can you help me out? Absolutely. What kind of fishing were you planning on doing? Well, I have a rod here I was hoping to use, or something similar to this. Okay, spin casting is a great place to start. There are two types of reels. You either have your open face reel, like this mm -hmm. guy here, or your closed face reel. On the open face reel, you can see the line wrapped around the spool. Okay. Another type of rod is a fly rod, but seeing as how you're just starting out, I think it's best to concentrate on our open face, or on our spin casting. Great. So when we store our rods, it's important to take mm -hmm. them apart so they don't get damaged. To put them together, you take the bottom portion of the rod, you slide the top portion in, making sure all of the guides are lined up. What the guides are, they're the little area here for you to run your line through. Great, so how do we get the reel on? Okay, so every rod comes equipped with a reel seat, which is this area here. You grab the reel, slide the top end underneath the hood, and you tighten the reel onto the rod by turning the hood counterclockwise. So should we take a look to make sure that you have everything? Yeah, that'd be a great idea. Sounds good. All right. So I see that you've got different kind of lures here. You've got your wet flies, your dry flies, and there's also some jigs and some spinners. Yeah, I've debarbed all of my hooks in the tackle box because I understand that a barbed hook will cause more damage to the fish. So what I did was I took a pair of pliers, which I've got here with me, and I'm just going to find a hook here that has a barbed end on. Here's a great example. So this hook has a small little barb on the back side of it. I'm going to take my pliers, place it over the barb, and just pinch it nice and tight there. This pushes the barb back onto the hooks. When you rub your finger along the back, as long as you don't get caught, the barb should be pinched enough. It's really good to see that you've debarbed all your hooks. Thanks, Craig. I've also got some bobbers and weights to add to my line when I'm ready to go fishing. Perfect. So it's really good to see you've left yourself with all these options. Different lures are going to work in different situations. You can even survey the other anglers in the area to see what's working best for them. Do you know if you're allowed to use bait where you're going? Oh, well, I've checked the regulations, and for the lake I'm going to, I can use bait, just not live bait. Now, I've never used bait before, so can you help me out with that a little bit? Yeah, definitely. So what bait is, is it's anything with a scent that is used to attract the fish. Now, it can be artificial, like this power bait here, or it can be worms, scrubs, leeches, anything natural like that. Oh, great. Well, I have my artificial bait here, so I guess the last thing I need to do is tie my rod. Sounds good. Okay, so I think the knot that's going to work best for us is the improved clinch knot. I'll tie this one on for you, but for next time there are lots of great online resources that'll be able to walk you through the process. Great, thanks Craig, I appreciate it. Not a problem, I hope the fish are biting.